Hello, hello everybody. This is Grace on a Journey with Grace on a Journey Channelings. Welcome to my newcomers and to those fellow travel travelers coming back. Welcome. Your presence is appreciated. So today we have I would say a topic that is somewhat challenging and the reason being is because I am going to have to open up even more than usual. <laughs> and the fact is, I'm transparent as it is. But my spirit support team reminds me of my calling towards healing. And as I heal, others heal. So the things that I don't want to talk about, the things that I don't want to see, the things that I want to forget about, I don't have the opportunities of just closing my eyes to. I don't have the opportunities of not having self-reflection because it's brought to my attention. Too much is given, much is expected. And in this moment, I feel fortified. Confirmation. I know I'm not alone. I know the messages that need to come through will come through. I know that healing will come. Not just for me, but for all that experience. Similar realities. So today's topic or title rather is throat chakra healing. And how we're going to bring this into focus is by saying what needs to be said. It's by saying what was held inside. It's by saying what may hurt. It's by saying what may expose. It's by saying the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God. The channeling that I will do today. There are times when I channel along alone and then I give myself the next segment to read the cards and interpret them and so forth. Today I'm called to channel as I read the cards and the message will get through. The first card for today is transition. Calmer waters, healing, progress, moving on, moving forward, things calming down, calm after a storm, overcoming hardship, relief, stability, escaping, running away. Journeys, traveling, travel overseas, going on holiday, feeling deflated, transition. And see, what that card means, in my interpretation, is accepting Change. 
choosing to love myself. Practicing self-care. Mind over matter. Following this card is Archangel Raphael, who's associated with healing. As you love yourself, as you take the steps to arrive at healing, you will be healed. Although there is help, there is a spiritual support team, but you must take the steps that are necessary to put you in alignment with your goal of healing. And yes, sometimes it means closing your eyes to the chaos that is exceeding in drama, drama that you did not create, Drama that doesn't concern you. And drama that is not your responsibility. In this season, we are called to be responsible for ourselves. I'm said, I'm I'm told to say it two more times. We are called to be Responsible for ourselves. We are called to be responsible for ourselves. Those of you that are empaths, oh, but I care. I love. I want to help. One more time. We are called to be responsible for ourselves. That means if there are those that have crossed paths with you that decided to remain dysfunctional, relish in toxicity, and sometimes live to be opposing to you, your dreams, your progress, anything that is of a positive nature. You are being called to follow God. And God is calling you to be responsible for yourself. There will be those that you will watch them go down. Right? You will hear about their defeat. Okay? It will be like experiencing deja vu. Those of you with gifts of prophecy that for that had foresight of what was to come. I myself tried my best, people. I really did. I started with social media. Posts after posts after posts, warning. Video after video after video, warning. Mental health awareness, mental health awareness, mental health awareness, warning. Narcissistic behavior, warning. Those being possessed, 
by dark energies surrounding surrounded by succubus and incubus spirits they were warned people but why God because they were warned they wasn't warned for one day not one week not one month but Year after year after year after year persecuting God's child, persecuting God's chosen, persecuting for no reason. Half of the people that are persecuting me, can I? Rephrase that. All of the people. Because that's the accuracy. In the situation. Because even those who thought they were close to me. In reference to my Judas of an ex-husband. He didn't know me. And he can't deny it. He didn't know that I never fall down and not get up. He didn't know that. In fact, he was hired to be my hitman. He was hired to bring me down. He was hired to affect my mental health in the capacity that I would just give up on life, disregarding my parenting responsibilities and the expense of my child. His pockets were more important. Being accepted was more important. Being part of was more important. Disregarding every effort that was made. Disregarding every way I extended myself. Disregarding everything I forgave. About him. Toxic behavior. After toxic behavior. After toxic behavior. Unfortunately I learned about it. After marriage. And when these things were brought to my attention. And I questioned. Why didn't you. Say these things. Do these things. Before we marry, why didn't you disclose these things that I would never be part of, that I would always be an outsider, that only your bloodline mattered, that nothing that has to do with you is my business. That closeness will come with time, quote unquote. I have to learn to love you, quote unquote. This is after marriage, y'all. See, before marriage, I love you. But after marriage, I will grow to love you, okay? Now, for anyone out here, because I'm being told that this episode is specifically specifically addressed to the stuck on stupids crew it's specifically addressed to the stuck on stupid crew okay and Any man 
Cause, cause I know some of y'all slow. Can I be real? Cause you know that's the only way I can function, right? Any one of you that goes around, okay, and tells a woman of substance, mind you, you're in a relationship, you're married, you're getting there or whatever. A woman of substance, I'm going to say it again, a woman of substance the third time, right? And you tell them, I will grow to love you. I will love to love you. It, it died. Can I tell you the truth? Any hope of you died. Whether she walked away, whether she made a comment, whether she held a straight face, any relationship with you died that instant. A lot of you think you know women, you understand women, you know how to play women when you don't understand the only thing you master in is playing yourself. Again. Women of substance don't play. It may appear that we don't react ASAP, right? But that's because unlike you, we think about it. We think before we act. We pray about it. We pray before we act. We investigate about it. We investigate it before we act. Right? That doesn't mean you have any chance. That just means accuracy is part of the process. That just means <laughs> winning. Need I say more? It means winning. You not knowing what I'm thinking, what I'm planning, what I'm doing is me winning. Okay? Because Either you love someone or you don't love someone. Now, if you tell them you love them prior to marriage and after you marry, I'm learning, I'm this, I'm that. Your father said, your father, everything your father, your father said, right? I'm hearing retardation, emotional retardation, emotional retardation, and more emotional retardation. It was after marriage I learned of the retardation, y'all. You see, when Obia comes to play Monday through Friday, right? And Sunday morning they find themselves at church taking communion, right? Mind manipulating. Binding. Bringing blockages. Enjoying and relishing in the sorrow of another. Some things may escape you. Some things you don't see. Some things you don't understand. And when you ask God, why did you find yourself in that situation Many of you will learn is because you are teachers. And in order to teach, you must go to school. You must take the classes. And in the end, I'm told, your soul cannot be tarnished. So even though you were exposed, To seasons that you didn't deserve. 
you will stand up again. No, this may have not been the road you chose, but you will stand up again. No, but if you were born and destined to be courageous, intelligent, and free, you will stand up again. Feel free to talk to God. That's what I'm channeling. Feel free to tell him how you feel. Feel free to tell him what hurts you. Feel free to tell him how you feel betrayed. Feel free to ask him why. Feel free to ask him, I need clarity. Feel free to ask him, I need a better understanding. Feel free to ask him, speak to me in a way that I can grasp the point. That is part of your healing journey. If you just keep it inside and not ask God, why did you allow this to happen? You will not heal. I'm just telling you the truth. You may not like to hear the truth. It may be uncomfortable to hear the truth. But today you won't hear the truth. Okay. You either going to hear the truth or you're going to tune or like change your, your, your tuning or walk away from the podcast. Because... If you intend to hear the entire episode, you're going to have to be on that vibration. That by any means necessary, healing today will be mine. Questions that I don't want to ask will be mine. Resentments that I don't want to say out loud. Confirmation. Will be brought to my attention. Right? There are resentments, people. Everybody's different. Right? We heal differently. That's why you hear the comments like, my pet peeve is certain things bother people more than the other. And that's associated to triggers, right? I myself am a very loyal person. Nobody can come to me, right? And separate me from a loved one. But God. Can I, can I be on? I said but God. But my spiritual support team. Alright. My beloved ancestors. My angels. Through prophecies and dreams. But it has to come to me. Right. It's never no he say she say they say. Because I will say, this is where you cross the line. You have no right to tell me who I could be with, when I could be with, how I could be with. My family will vouch. (laughs) And this is part of the reasons why I had to experience what I had to experience. They already told me, he ain't good enough. You don't even got a car. He's needy and greedy. As a matter of fact, the first week of marriage, 
his mother had the audacity to say he can't work because his back hurts. First week, first week. I said first. Did I say first? First week of marriage. Her name starts with a P. Oh, he can't work. His back hurts. <laughs> what exactly? Do you think that my understanding would be? So you're saying I married someone to take care of him? You're saying I married someone who said he owned a restaurant but didn't? You're saying I married someone who said... Oh, someone crashed my car. I'm about to buy one next month. But never did. I said never did. Never did. Never did. Because he was on his feet. Never did. There were times I had to bring him to the bus stop halfway. To his destination. Right. To the business that he claimed. That he owed. Owned, and he complained. Oh, I didn't come to America to 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 sit at a bus stop. I I expect for you to drive me from city to city and then pick me up from city to city. Mind you, you come home and say, I didn't get a check. We didn't have any customers. I didn't get a check, but I'm going to pay you back. I didn't get a check. They're abusing me because I don't have papers. Mind you, before marriage, I have papers. I am legal. I have papers in Canada. I have papers in the United States. Learning afterwards, you ain't got papers either place. Can we get real? Because <laughs> I don't know where you about to go when immigration. Nah, I'm going to leave that. I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you find out on your own. But um, as I was saying. Trying to get the smile off my face. I'm all right. It's all right. We all right. Okay. We all right. But as I was saying, um, all these lies that were made, you had this, you had this, you only had one child and all of this. Every time this occurred. In spirit. In body, in soul, I detached, I detached, I detached, I kept on detaching, I detached, until there was a point, the only reason I didn't give him divorce papers yet is because I felt sorry for his ass. Because he kept on saying, nobody helps me. Nobody cares about me. My mother can't help me. My father can't help me. My family can't help me. So I'm thinking, damn, he's going to be homeless. He's going to be under a bridge. I'm going to feel away. Not knowing that's what he wanted for me. He wanted to bring division to my household. In fact, I told him before marriage, listen, 
I can't take care of you, okay? I'm a single mom. Yes, I only have one child, but I'm a single mom, right? So it doesn't make any sense for me to marry somebody that I need to take responsibility for. I don't need to adopt a son, not this point and season in my life. I'll say this season in my life. Right? And I was told, what are you talking about? After we get married, we're going to move. We're going to get an apartment. We're going to do. And then after we got married, there was no apartment. The truth is, I didn't have the money. (laughs) I'm going to get it. I'm saving the money. So we're going to have to separate. All right. This is what. Maybe four days in the marriage. We're going to have to separate. I could live in Miami and you could live. Here. And I said, I didn't marry you to live in separate places. We might as well get a divorce. Yeah, four days in the marriage, people. Four days in the marriage. We might as well get a divorce. There is no way I'm going to stay married to you and you live over there and I live over here. That was not the arrangement. The arrangement was that we live in the same household. So in my seriousness, he decided not to move to Miami, not knowing is because he had a house of horse over there to go to. Right. When I accepted his proposal is because he said he was single, that the only child he had lived in Baltimore, that the only ex-wife he had was his mother. He did not tell me of a house of whores, right? I am not the type that seeks drama or fights. I've never experienced a street fight. That's the house of whores, right? I don't fight for men. That's the house for whores, right? I don't catch diseases and spread them out. That's the house of whores, right? I don't take drugs. That's the house of whores, right? I know who my baby daddy is. That's the house of whores, right? That don't know because it was a threesome. (laughs) Woo! Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for for the truth. Thank you, God, for the satisfaction of the truth. Because you can play games all you want. She's a bad person. She's this. She's that. But, But she walks in her truth. You understand? If she's faithful, she's faithful to only you. You understand? And the reason why you are getting whipped, can I say it again? Getting whipped, get, experiencing karma is because you lie. And you went around town telling people that I was you and you were me. And I'm speaking to the house of horse. Now, the house of horse sent him here on a mission. Right. It was never love. It was just a fraudulent marriage. Everything is clear. You could see it clear. Right. If someone marries you and then four days in the marriage, you say you need to move. Right. You never said that before. Then you say you can't work. Okay. then you say there was never no love there. Right. 
You lied about everything, right? You lied about other uh, relationships. You lied about how many children you had. You lied. There was never. It was how can I ride and benefit and play with my target? Because the house of whores demanded more drugs. The house of whores demanded more designer. The house of whores demanded more trips. The house of whores stayed in demand. Right? The house of whores had leverage. They still have leverage. They have videos of you, don't they? Videos that the entire community will see, don't they? Of the degrading things you do and the populations you do them with, right? Why, why God, why am I getting exposed? Why God? Because of the lies you told, right? You were paid to lie and call me all types of names and said I participated in all types of disgusting types of sexual behaviors, excluding the fact that you were impotent. Right? Excluding the fact that I have receipts, GNC receipts of your saw palmetto needs, right? Excluding the fact that my entire family knew of your impotence the, the first week of marriage. That's grounds for divorce. That's what I was told. Like, what the hell is that? He's not that old. What's wrong with that? Later to find out, your house of whores were doing black magic on you so you could not perform. So you were not there intimately. You were not there financially. You were not there emotionally. You were not there physically. You, you never even put air in my tires. You never washed my car. You never cleaned my house. In fact, you complained if someone asked you to take the trash out. Like a female. Why is it only me? I took it out. Mind you, you don't pay anything. You eat all day. You lay on the bed. Until you leave odors. Can I be real? You see, when you lay on the bed all day, all night, and just be on that phone, later on finding out what you was looking on that phone, I didn't know you. You were interested in that type of pornography? Mail on mail? Really? Children, really? Would I have allowed you to be in my house when I had a child? Had I known how disgusting you are? Everything was a lie. You cannot even defend yourself. Everything was a lie. Nothing about you is true. And this is why I always say. Lying to yourself and say she still loves me. She still loves me. She still loves me. Is just lying to yourself. Because I never knew you. I knew the illusion of you. A church man. I knew the illusion of you. An owner of a restaurant. I knew the illusion of you. Someone that was legal in the country. I knew the illusion of you. Someone that contributed. I knew the illusion of you. Someone that detest detested horse. I knew the illusion of you. Someone that did not subscribe to that lifestyle. 
As a matter of fact, every time you saw a couple or a person that gave off that energy or the vibe, you disgraced them and made them feel less than. To the point they would roll their eyes and leave a restaurant or leave a line or leave a store because you would make very rude comments to people that subscribe. <laughs> Throw chakra games. To people that subscribe to what they call it? LGBT, I believe Q. I don't know the rest. Lifestyle, right? You would recu- you would um ridicule them. So the down low issue would have never crossed my mind. One because you always ridiculed these people. Two because you was on saw saw palmetto. So you being on saw palmetto, what what could you do? Not knowing the reason you could not perform is because you was on um, your house of whores was sending um, magic or whatever to make you not a man. I said not a man. I'm going to say it one more time. Not a man. To the point I even spoke to your mother. She can testify. And I told her. I didn't marry you for a brother. Okay? And this is the issue that's going on. I even went and told your cousin in Lauderhill. This is the issue going on. Everybody was aware. I even asked God, like, what is the problem? Am I being punished for something? Who ever heard about getting married to an impotent person? Like, why you didn't tell me this before? Right? Not knowing God was protecting me because he knew you was filthy, because he knew your blood was dirty. Right? So he was like, nah, you're not going to bring that over here. You understand? So he allowed all the witchcraft that was being made for the house of horrors because all those dis- diseases needed to stay in the house of horrors. They was not going to come in the house of God. They was not going to come in the temple of God. They was not going to come in the vicinity of God. No. I didn't live like that. I don't know that life. I mean, how low can you go? You don't only frequent prostitutes. You live with them, right? You feed them, right? But why, God? But why am I getting exposed? Because even in your awareness that you preferred the tramps, right? You accused a child of God, confirmation, of prostitution, correct? Knowing I'm trying to breathe, y'all. Give me a moment. That has never been my lifestyle. I have never struggled. Right? And I make reference to that to the point where. I'm assuming people that get in that lifestyle is because. They're struggling. They don't have something to eat. They need to feed their children. I'm assuming, y'all. I don't know. I'm assuming. I'm assuming, right? I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt. I'm giving them the benefit that they're just not nasty. They're just not sex addicts. They're just not succubuses. They're just not incubus. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, y'all. 
Later f- to find out someone was gay for pay. Gay for- I said, yeah, I'm mad. Gay for pay? And then you have the audacity. After I sign divorce papers, right? And I move on from my life with my life. And I don't ask you questions, yo. Go do you, yo. I don't care, yo. But you have the audacity to do black magic so I could not meet someone else. So I could not continue with my life. So I could not progress. So I could not have money. So I would have to come back to your gay for pay ass. Are you serious? And you thought my ancestors was going to play with you? You thought diseases wasn't going to fall on you? You thought your bank account wasn't going to go on bankruptcy? You thought you wasn't going to get exposed? You thought you wasn't going to fall down? Really? And this is why this message is addressed again to stuck on stupid. Because some things you do, people, come on now. I'm trying to give y'all benefit of doubt. I'm trying to think that y'all ain't all stuck on stupid. You know what I'm saying? It must be something with upbringing. Because I don't understand how people think they could get away with things to certain magnitudes you know again you're not a man you can't perform you're not there financially you're not there emotionally you're not there physically you're not there at all besides help me I said the only manner you're there is help me help me help me With money to buy toothpaste, chopstick, and toothbrush. Help me to buy clothes at the thrift store. Help me to um, send money to my family in Jamaica. Help me to send money to my family in Baltimore. Help me. Help me. Help me. That's the only area that you were available for. And you don't understand. Why won't she let me explain? Why won't she let me tell the truth? Why won't she? Why won't she? Why? Why is she so stubborn? Why did she block me? What? Can I answer why? Stuck on stupid. I said, if you needed a repeat, stuck on stupid. One more time. Really slow for your kind. Stuck. On stupid, and the sad thing is, that's your crew, that's not just you because they were all in awareness of what you was doing. In fact, they were guiding you. Don't show her no love, don't appreciate her, don't do, just take from her, just take. And I'm sitting here, and you thinking I'm just gonna keep giving and keep giving and keep giving. Yeah, have you seen your face in the mirror? <laughs> What you looking like? You look cute. (laughs) You mean someone didn't settle settle for you? Are you serious? Is it those beautiful eyes? (laughs) Oh, God. Am I going to have to rush to the bathroom? Because it's getting real over here. I know it ain't your eyes. Do they still water? I know it ain't your hair. Because it wouldn't even be done if I couldn't pay the barber. Can we be real? I said, can we be real today? Okay. Because if you had a cut to go to the house of horrors, I flipped the bill. You understand? I feel sorry for your ass because you said nobody was there for you. 
right? And even in my kindness, right? You wasn't even a husband to me, right? You wasn't giving me no money. You wasn't a husband to me. You wasn't even a friend to me. In fact, you was a Judas. You were lying and saying I did sexual acts that I did not do because you would not know because you're impotent. Am I right? And even certain Activities that you claim you didn't participate in because you only believe that's a job of a prostitute to. (laughs) And you had a prostitute in mind and she did a really good job at it. She had good neck movement, ain't it? And you would never ask a wife to do that, ain't it? We didn't even go there. So the fact that you lied and you said that I said or I did is the fact that you whack. And that's exactly why you're getting whacked. I did not do any of these lies you said I did with you. Right? In fact, I didn't do them with anybody. Right? But you lied and you took all the stories of all these hoes you was pimping and you you put it on me. You you threw up on me. You you threw trash on me. You you You're disturbed. Anyone in their right mind who would have someone that would help them in all the areas I was helping you and not even entangled as a wife to you because you just became a brother, a useless brother. I would have conversations with God. Well, God... Are you just calling me to to live this way because I'm supposed to live that type of life of chastity or, you know, some people are called to do that. Maybe I was called to do that. Just talk to me, God. Help me to understand this, God. Mind you, I'm faithful throughout the marriage. That's why you being whacked. Throughout the entire marriage. And trust and believe. It ain't my face. It ain't my presence. It ain't my personality. It ain't my education. Because I had all that going for me. Right? Right? It's just called pushback. Nah, I'm married. And that's it. Respect. Right? Because I was no hoe. Right? But your mouth went there. You painted me as one in the house of whores. Right? You colored me as one in the house of whores, right? You accused me of being one in the house of whores, right? And you thought you wasn't going to get yours? Let me tell you why I'm not too surprised. I mean, of course I... Of course I was speechless for a moment. You know what I'm saying? When I first found out you went there. But given the fact that you said with your own mouth certain things about bedroom life. I'm trying to say this 
as tactful as I can because it's, it's, it's beyond words. Concerning your parents, right? If you could tell me certain things about bedroom life concerning your parents, why would I be surprised if you would say that about me? Remember when you said your father couldn't work it? Am I lying? Confirmation. Am I lying? That he was impotent? That your father had to find other ways to please your mom. Ain't that right? Ain't that right? So if you could degrade your parents, your father, who you never liked, because you said he never showed you love or his life. Can I be honest? Can I'm just being honest. I am just practicing throat chakra healing in truth. Right? He never liked you. He never gave you opportunities. He never. This is not what I'm saying. This is what you said. Right? Your mother always took everyone else's side. She never takes your side. She's always this way. She's always. That's what you said, ain't it? You had enough to say about your mama. You had enough to say about your father. So why am I different? But see, these are things I wish that came up before marriage. But the fact that I said what you said about the bedroom concerning your parents. Oh, let me take a deep breath. Mm -mm Mm-mm-mm. Shows how much of a Judas you are. It don't matter if they're blood. It don't matter what they did for you. It don't matter. Anything. You will sell anybody out. You will put anybody out there. Mind you, all your business. All your shortcomings. Oh, don't. Don't tell your mom I don't own the restaurant. Don't don't tell your mom that um, anything about our sex life. Don't 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 tell your mom about the fact that I'm broke. And don't tell your mom that I don't contribute to the rent. Tell her I paid for it. Don't don't tell your mom. Don't tell your mom. Don't tell your mom. Don't tell your mom. But she was telling your mom lies. You telling me over here to protect you, and then you go on to your mom and you tell her lies and then you go to the death mistress in the house of whores and you tell her lies and then you go to the younger (laughs) oh lord you went to the youngest we'll go there and and you told her lies right Right? Am I right? Who's lying? Am I right? The best weapon to have is the the sword of truth. I don't need your guns. The yeah, them same gu- guns that you talk about. You want to shoot me with? Yeah, those. The evidence I have on Instagram of you sending me um um what you might call profiles with guns on it or oh, there's there's nothing greater than you, greater than you than God or some kind of nonsense or whatever these threats you were making these phone calls these okay so I don't have to fear your guns because I have a spiritual support team and I know they're handling you right now am I right all right, and I know they handling everybody on that stuck on stupid crew. Am I right? They all got a plate full. Am I right? And if they dare, did you hear the certainty in that? 
if they dare come close to this. I was already notified. They ain't going to make it here. You could write that down on a piece of paper or take your finger, put it in the cement or what, what, whatever you got to do. You do that. Because that's the prophecy. Anybody who dares to step to me from that stuck on stupid crew, right? Ain't going to make it out. And it's not going to be through my hands. It's not going to be through my efforts. But I will find out about it. I will see it on the news. Right? It will be publicized. Right? It will be mentioned on my episodes. Right? So do what you do. I already know y'all have a... um. You have a suicide wish list. I already know that. Maybe I could do it this way or that way. or This might hurt less or this. I already know that. You think I don't know? You think I don't know you don't want to be here? Right? You think I don't know that suicide spirit? Confirmation. You think I don't know that spirit of suicide that you sent to me didn't bounce off me and go back to you? You think I didn't know that? Didn't I tell you that? Isn't that on social media? Years ago. All those Jezebel spirits, whatever, that your host of horrors was sending here to try to say, I'm better than her. I'm not doing that. I'm not. None of it touched me. And guess who it went to? It went to you. And made you the certified whole gigolo that you are. Right? That you would A, B, through Z. All over the community. Right? That you're not just a pimp. You a pimp slash gigolo. Slash prostitute. Read between the lines. I know about your wig, your wigs too. Right, DL? I know about your wigs, too. All this because you were stuck on stupid and allowed your house of horse to play with your mind. All this time you thinking you in control. You the emperor of a house of horse. <laughs> Meanwhile, they was playing with your behind, right? They was having you turn right, turn left, go up, go down. Be stagnant, be stuck. Fall down. Right? Collectively. And specifically to the House of Horrors, I would like to give you a message. Because I know y'all a little slow and y'all not up on vocabulary. The fact that you sent him to me to love bomb me, to spy on me, to steal my business plans because y'all, y'all lacking marbles and you, you can't create and you wish you could be and you, what? On your knees, right? Um... Competition. Let, let me help y'all out, all right? Competition is not an organization. It's not a coven. It's not a group. It's not an association. It's not against one, okay? I know you're weak, right? Everybody knows you're weak, right? It's being publicized that you're weak, right? You're leaving a legacy that you're weak, right? But competition is not a group on one. Okay, slow folks? Okay? 
See, competition is one on one. Okay, slow folks. What you prefer, slow folks or slow flakes? Okay. Let's 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 win. Let's 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 show her what we can do. Let's let man up, woman up. I said man up, man up, woman up. Oh, you can't. You're scared. You're weak. You wish. Right? You got all that mouth. But when you was in my face, horse with a limp. When you was in my face asking me for rides because you was on your feet limping. When you... When you was in my face, you didn't have the audacity to say what you was doing. You didn't have the audacity to say that who you was sleeping with. You didn't have the audacity to do none of that. All you had the audacity to do was go in the dark, right? Go in the dark and do your witchcraft and be the, the, the empress of death that you are until you... You called it in for yourself, right? Don't you remember those confessions? Oh, nothing is working out. My my kidney has problems. This has problems. My my after I did a um after I did a um I don't even know what they call it that thing. Well, I know what they call it, but I, it's slipping my mind right now. Gastric surgery or whatever so you can stop eating because your your mouth don't know how to shut um yeah that part um even after that and you still a fat ass <laughs> but you have nerve to come to try to put me down what why are you taking pictures to show of your liposuctions right Take pictures of your knees. <laughs> Have them see your knees. Right? You ashamed of them, right? Wasn't it you telling me how men were putting you down, downgrading you, calling you fat ass? Is it me or you? Is it me or you? Because I don't know them. Is it me or you? Didn't you tell me that's what they was calling you? Fat ass? So if they call me you fat ass, how are you going around calling me fat ass? Right? Have you seen yourself? No, I'm serious. I'm I'm a, I'm a pause right now. Have you seen yourself? Just because you could walk with a cane better than me okay <laughs> does not make you queen fat ass okay so get in that little corner and figure it out okay and all those other chicken heads in behind you trying to be like you because their names is monkey see monkey doos do doos um let them know that competing is not hiding behind mother hen. Competing is not, I don't need her to know my name. I don't want her to expose me. I don't, I don't, I don't. I, it's not that. If you had what it takes to compete, you wouldn't have to call my house on a fake number. You wouldn't have to call my, my, my cell phone on a fake number, Right? You wouldn't have to do all that. You wouldn't have to have a fake prof profile, right? It's because you a coward, right? It's because you scared, right? It's because you know what's up, right? That's all it is. Because you hard, but you hard in a stuck on stupid crew. You're not even hard on a wise crew or on an intelligent crew or on a we get things done crew or an elevation crew. You just on your level of stuck on stupid crew. Okay? Mind you, I don't know any of you. You know why? 
Because I don't care to. You know why? Because you ain't. You ain't got the qualifications. To be eligible. To speak. You understand? That's why you on block. That's why your foolish remarks. On the posts I would make. Or whatever. Is all on block now. I don't have time for ignorance. Go to school. Learn how to write your name. House of Horror crew member. Learn how to write that. Okay. Before you try to step to me. Okay. Because if somebody was lying to you. I'm here to tell you the truth. Okay. I'm not cowardly like you. Okay. What I have to say. I say it on the podcast. Okay. I don't have no secret meetings, okay? I don't have to hire anybody, okay? I don't have to spy on you, okay? That's you. The stuck on stupid crow. All I got for you is the truth. Y'all hate me because I tell the truth, right? But the truth is, God is the truth, right? And so I stand with God, right? And you can't overpower God, right? But you will get exposed, right? And you are going down, right? And you are crying, right? And you are getting high, right? And you just can't take it, right? And you just want to get out of here, right? Who's lying? Right now. This moment, this instant, who's lying? We know you have a master's in lying, but but y'all ready to step up to PhD? We know about your fake credentials. We know about that too. That's just sad. Like I cannot go out there in front that I have these credentials and I that's that's disrespecting myself. That's telling myself I'm stupid, but I'm trying to be smart. Because if you were smart, you would get those credentials. Then you would just say, okay, I have these credentials. But lying about it is flat out telling yourself, I'm too stupid to have it. So I'm going <laughs> to. <coughs> Let me lie about it. Right? And that's just a shame. And you brought this to yourself. Because I wouldn't even know your name. I don't even mess with your kind. I never exchange words with you. I mind my business. I don't look for friends. All my friends are my day one friends. Period. I ain't looking for no new friends. Period. And that's why you hurt. Period. Isn't that true, horse with a limp? Isn't that true? You can sign up for my class because you we ain't in the same class. Can can I get a witness? Cause cause you ain't got no class. So so we can't be in the same class. So you literally sign up to get some class. <laughs> that in front of me for 10 weeks as tough as you are as hard as you are as unbreakable as you are you couldn't dare open your mouth ain't it coward ain't it whole you couldn't do it you were scared ain't it 
But you, you, you sat there in front of me for 10 weeks and learned what you had to learn from me and did your spell work as you was there and all of that, right? And you thought that I would be intimidated by you with your cowardly moves. I couldn't hold myself for five minutes with it without telling my truth. Because nobody but God installs fear in me. But you sat there, my God, for 10 weeks, three hours, not even an hour, three whole hours. Kept your mouth shut. And when I shared my phone number with the class, if you're going to be absent, let me know. Because if you don't let me know, you will not get the certificate for this class. Use that number to call. Oh, you want to get your nails done? You want to go out for juices? You want to, I can go with you. I can go with you every day. I could see those, those vibes right there. Those are desperation vibes, right? See, I don't know you like that, right? But you want to go get our nails done. You want to you wanna be friends. You want to call me three times a day. You want to repulse me. To the point I told that monkey slash Judas that, um, why in the world is she calling me three times a day? Or when it went to one time a day, why is she calling me every day? I don't even talk to my best friend every day. Who the heck are you? What is wrong with you? Oh yeah, stuck on stupid crew. Right? I got things to do, places to go, people to see. You feel me? In my class. Okay? And we're not talking about sitting in front of me. We're talking about in my circles. Okay? Because if it wasn't for that low life that did the black magic that come to me and all these manipulations to, you know, fall into that trap of I do, I wouldn't even know you. Look at you. Really? You would know my name. We frequent the same places. We know the same people. No, no, no and no. We don't. And that's the problem. You won't stay in your lane. Again, I don't like you. I never did like you. And I never will like you. None of you. And so it's so simple to stay in your lane. You don't cross my mind. I don't have the time to be spying on you and doing fake profiles on you. You you worse than high school. You worse than middle school. You worse than any school. Oh, yeah, you illiterate. That part. But get it together. You have children. You have grandchildren. Get it together. It wasn't me that made you have to get on your knees to get any type of degree. Okay. I said it. Tell the truth and be set free. I said I wasn't the one that made you have to get on your knees to get any type of degree. I will not let you crucify me for your life. I don't even know you. I still don't know you besides your demonic nature. I don't know you because I don't care to know you. I don't know you because all this while with my skills and my divination upgrades. You ain't worthy enough for me to look into you. 
I'm just telling them the truth. The cards come out the way they do. Because it's good for you. But it's not because I say, oh, I need to know about horse with a limp. I need to know about monkey see, monkey do. I need to know about snake. I need to. I don't care. Till this day, straight up. I've never looked into you. Okay. I have prophecy. I have, But you have to matter. <laughs> they don't. Uh, that's the part. That's that's the whole challenge right there. That you want to matter, but you don't. You know, I want to be somebody. I'm Pinocchio, but I want to be a real boy. Isn't that true, Judas? But you need a soul to be a real boy. You need a soul to be any type of real. Right? That's why when you were at my house, I told you something wrong with you. That you needed some type of therapy. As a matter of fact, when I was doing these support groups, I said, you could just sit in. You don't have to say that you're depressed. Isn't that what you said every day, every night, every minute, every second? I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I'm depressed. I'm very depressed. I'm depressed. But then do nothing about it. Nothing but pay prostitutes. Nothing but get a for pay nothing but take drugs take alcohol nothing but lie be deceitful be a fraud be a scammer nothing but that you see in order to escape that depression you would have to stop being a fraud you would have to stop being a scammer you would have to stop being gay for pay you would have stopped having to hang with prostitutes from the house of horrors. You would have to be a man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't ready for that. So you need to. Stay where you at. And continue to get whacked. Because God ain't playing with you. Especially when you had the nerve to say, I do, and then come for me. Someone who helped you, someone come for me, someone who defended you, someone who drove you places because you was on your feet, someone who covered for you because you couldn't even walk around without socks on. You want to go there? Because I know you went about to my physicals, right? I know you went and you put me down re regarding my physicals, right? But I could go bare feet, right? Can you? Can you? Can you? Can you? I said, can you? Don't go around trying to make fun or trying to rank on people's physicals when you know you. Oh, yeah, you don't know you. But learn you. Okay, you out of all people. <laughs> Is that a confirmation again? You out of all people. Oh, you can't open your mouth on no physicals. Okay. You better keep your mouth shut. Okay. You better not me let me say anything further. Okay. Because you know that I know and we know what they don't know. Okay. And I never went out there trying to harm you, trying to bring you down, trying to say this. I had sympathy for you. I was empathetic towards you. I was protective of you. I was truthful with you. 
I was in all sincerity with you. And you was all the opposite with me. I accepted you knowing you would never be able to go to the beach without socks on. I accepted you knowing you would never be able to go to a party without socks on. A pool party without socks on. I accepted you, right? Did I not accept you? Was that ever an issue? But grown as we were, adult as I am, mature as I am, wisdom as I have. I overlooked all of that. I overlooked all of that, Judas. Do you know there are people very dear to me that just for that, they would say, nah, why you want to go there? Mm -mm. That ain't looking right. You know that? You got your circle, I got mine. You think they would be okay with all your physicals? Can we be real? I said, can we be real? Because you real behind doors, but I'm I'm real out in the open. You feel me? I don't give a damn how you feel. I don't give a damn how they feel. I don't give a damn, period. I'm not going to hide behind doors for nobody. It's either take it or leave it. You feel me? I'm here with a message. I share the message and I go. And that's it. Okay. But you're not going to come here and play church and pretend you a saint and pretend everybody lied on you or everybody. Oh, it's not fair. She put black magic on me. That's why I left her. That's why I didn't know. I didn't know she wasn't cheating. I, you didn't know I wasn't cheating, but she was with me 24 seven. You went with me to work. You went with me to the supermarket. You went with me to church. You was that with me at home. You was always with me, fool. Mind you, when I go into work, I give you my cell phone, right? Because you couldn't even have hotspot on. <laughs> Yo, you couldn't even have hotspot. You couldn't pay for hotspot on your phone. So I, I gave you my cell phone, right? No passwords on it, right? No hidden messages, right? But I was cheating on you. And then you have the nerve to tell your house of horrors about my banking information, about my social security, about my whereabouts, about my about everything. You you did your job. So you was just telling me you didn't have pay, right? It was a back and forth with the house of horrors, right? Sometimes the pimp pays, sometimes they pay, right? Meanwhile, I'm just being told, I got you. I got the money I'm expecting. I got, um, I'm trying to buy out my um, part in the business. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to do this. And... It never happened. And this is a lesson that those of you that are in some type of trap. And you have someone telling you that I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Don't believe in I'm going to. Don't do it. See, not everyone is as smart as me and have records. Not everyone is as smart as me and have receipts. Of lawyer fees. Of grocery fees. Right? Copies of money sent to Jamaica. Copies of monies sent to Baltimore. Copies. Right? 
Oh, y'all better have copies, right? Okay, because the reason why you going you getting whacked once again is because you lied after I'm doing all of this for you and you you want to hide your money. You you want to keep some back from the house of whores and then you have the nerve and say the reason you can't give the money is cuz I'm eating your money. Mic drop. Mic drop. Mic drop. Confirmation. Mic drop. When did you give one Penny. Let me put you to shame. When did you give me one card from the dollar store? Right? When did you give me one balloon from the do- When did you get me one flower? When? It's always when I get the money, when you're going to be straight, you're going to be happy, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, broken record, you're going to, you're going to, you're going to, dead, going to. I'm not the one you could, you going to all day with. Nah. As a matter of fact, it went as long as it did because of the obia you were practicing. Because of the black magic you was practicing. Because of the santeria you was practicing. Because of the hoodoo you was practicing, right? Until I woke up. Until I knew how to protect myself. Until I wish somebody would. Can I say it louder? Until I wish somebody would. Let's say it a little louder. Until I wish somebody would. Play with me. Play. Because y'all crying already. You, you, you want to cry some more? Play with me. Play. The difference from me and you, I don't have to get my hands dirty. Play, just play. Keep playing. Just play. Because every time you play, yo, it go back to you and your crew. What's the name of that crew? Stuck on stupid crew. Goes on you, goes on your children, it goes on your children, children, I, it goes on the children, 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 it goes down the train of the gutter you come from. That's where it goes. Yeah, I know them roots run deep. So does the gutter. Right? See, if you stayed in your place, I wouldn't have to read you your place. You understand? If you respected yourself, right? I wouldn't have to teach you to respect yourself right because all this while you was trying to put me down they hired you to try to put me down to make me feel I was you just a Haitian you just the, oh don't tell people you're Haitian you're American don't tell people you're Haitian Haitian like it's something wrong with being Haitian right And I said, I don't care how you feel about Haitian because that's my bloodline. You feel me? Birthplace or not, that's my bloodline. And I'm proud of that. All right. My blood ain't just red. My blood is freedom. Channeled message confirmation. My blood is not just red. My blood is freedom. You understand? So freedom is not going to bow down to gutter. You understand? We don't bow down to oppressor. You understand? Apparently you didn't understand who you was messing with. You 
you surely didn't understand whose ancestors you was playing with. They got you in check, ain't it? <laughs> Why? Mm. Sabo. They got you in check, ain't it? Ain't it? You see, one of the reasons, let me get this off my chest. One of the reasons, too, you ain't got no comeback as far as let me explain, let me explain. It's not that you would ever even have an explanation. And it's not as you would ever even have an opportunity to make things right. However, I'm not even going to give you a place to open your dutsy mouth, right? And say, but she did it, but he did it, but she did it. You you don't get that with me. You know what I'm saying? First of all, you a liar. So there's nothing you say right now I could believe because your introduction is liar. You can't even write me. I've had dreams that there were packages, there were letters on tables. And ceremonies were being done. So you think you're going to send your letter, your picture, your package to me without it being returned to sender? Pause for a moment. I know y'all stuck on stupid. Pause for a moment. Try to catch up with me. Okay? You think you could send me a letter that I'm going to read it? You think you could come to my house to say I'm sorry and I'm going to let you? You can't come on this property. Not without the acquaintance of 911. All right? You won't be going home, all right? In fact, you won't even make it here. All right. Confirmation. I heard that. Confirmation. You won't even make it here. All right. And whoever you send won't make it here either. All right. And that's for certain. Because baby, if you make it here, understand it's a trap. <laughs> Don't play. Don't play. All right. I know you owe people because you were selling drugs. Meanwhile, you was telling people that I sold drugs. I was I've never experienced drugs. Partook in drugs. I've never done Drug, let alone to sell drugs. Y'all went as far as saying I was selling drugs. Come on now. Come on. I got to touch drugs before I could sell drugs. Come on now. Really? Your drug addiction puts y'all out there, ain't it? And you think I would pick up that gutter mess? And put it in my circle. You think I'm sorry, mess. And I'd put it in my circle. You think I'm cursed, mess. And you would think I'd put it in my circle. No. You made for the streets and you're going to stay on the streets. That's the prophecy. I told you that, I believe, at the end of 2021. And when I say I told you that, I told you that through social media because me and you have never talked on the phone since 2019. And I told you why. I told you you's a liar, right? And I don't talk to liars on the phone. So any communication you have with me will be on social media on blast. You feel me? It will never be a one on one. Ain't got time for one on one. And besides, you were too cowardly all this time from 2019, 2020, 2021 to the, oh, sending me text messages. Oh, I'm here. 
Um, I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I'm I'm at the airport. I'm from fake numbers. I just want to see you. Um, I'm sorry. Um, I from fake numbers. From fake numbers. You didn't even have the audacity to straight up. Oh my goodness. Use your phone, right? Because damn, suppose the house of horrors beat your ass. You afraid of them too, ain't <laughs> You ain't a good pimp. Ain't good. No good pimp is afraid of the prostitutes beating their ass. <laughs> You ain't good at nothing. You ain't good at being good. You ain't good at being bad. You just ain't good, honey. You just ain't. Right? You just ain't. So there is no way you can pretend that you me and I'm you. There's no way you can pretend that you are some type of spiritual teacher. You are called. You are. What? Where? How? I know y'all stuck on stupid, so I give y'all pauses to figure it out. What I said was, what, when, where, how are you a teacher? How, how, how are you even able to run an ethical business, a responsible business, a business that is not betraying others, is not scamming others, is not ripping off others. Mind you, that's what you do to the hand that feeds you. But you're going to be good to your customers now. You're going to wear a different mask now. You're going to wear a suit and tie now. And put those flat. Fl- put those flea market goals. <laughs> You're going to put those flea market gold plated chains down and put a suit and tie on now. You're going to be professional now. Oh, Really? Because all you can impress is chicken heads. I've never been. So I was never impressed with the with the um, flea market gold plated chains. I was never impressed with it. As a matter of fact. I thought twice about a second date because the first date you came with dirty pants. And I was like, damn. That denim is dirty. What's wrong with him? But I'm not shallow as you. You see? I'm like, let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, he's corny. He don't got swag. But let me try something different. Because I had swag before. You feel me? I had smooth before. You feel me? Intelligent before. Good to do before. Handsome before. You feel me? So I gave you the opportunity to prove yourself. No. You ain't all that. We know that. But. You're not what I consider handsome either. But. You don't dress all that good either. But. You don't have no rap all that good. But. You sold me. When you said you were a man of God. When you said. You wanted to settle down. When you said. You didn't do drugs and alcohol. When you said. You don't go out to clubs. When you said you don't have any friends. You said all the lies. 
that were necessary to give you a second look, right? You said you were Christian. You said you were pastor's kid. You said you stay away from Furu, from Obia, from this, from that, from that, from that. You said, you said lies. 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 But the difference between me then and now is I know how to get truth. <laughs> truth. See, the truth set me free. Okay? So you could lie all you want to lie. I'm Christian. I'm 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 a family man. I I only have one child. I I own see if I had the knowledge I have then right now, if I had that knowledge that I have right now, then we wouldn't even be having this conversation. As a matter of fact, you would have called me and how come it goes straight to voicemail? <laughs> See, I don't say goodbye. Who's lying? Did I say goodbye to you? Or did I just dip? You feel me? That's what I do. I just dip. Like, you don't get no explanations from me. Nah, we don't do that. You found out I dipped on social media, ain't it? You found out I'm not coming back on social media, ain't it? You found out I don't give a damn on social media, ain't it? Yeah. Phone call for what? What? You thought I was going to say, please stay. You thought I was going to send you a video of come, come and talk to me or whatever. You thought I was going to cry. You thought I was going to. Okay. I know you stuck on stupid, right? But I'm trying. I'm trying for the slow folks, right? I'm trying to provide a lesson <laughs> that those with wisdom already know and those that are slow can catch up, okay? Why is it anyone in their right mind is going to chase you when no, you don't help them financially. Two, you're not a real man. You can't perform. Three, um, you're not there emotional. We don't even have an emotional. We don't have a physical connection. We don't have an emotional connection. I don't even depend on you financially. Okay? I'm running things. Can we say that out loud? Judas, who was running things? Okay? Know your place and stay in it. Now, as much as I was running things, I never rubbed it in your face. I always did it with kindness. I always did it with assurance that you was going to do it for me. That this was an investment. That this was just a season. That one day, you would do right by me. One day. You would do right by my family. Because it wasn't only me. It was also my family that let you in. Right? My family that supported you. The same family you hated on. The same family you talked about. The same family you did black magic on. Without respecting children. You attacked children. That's why, but why God, that's why, but why God, that's why the ancestors are after your behind. Shoot, I got ancestors, right? You forgot about my son. You forgot he was just part me. You forgot he had a father. Throughout my marriage, you never paid one red penny for my child. 
But his father can prove he did. And still is. Okay. Whatever our difference is. I will not. Dare. Put someone down. That helps me in some type of capacity. You have no clue. The lineage my son comes through. I'm trying to tell you. The cities know what lineage my son comes through. You understand me? The country we come from knows what lineage my son comes through. You understand me? We're well respected. Spiritually. You understand me? So you come for me and you dare come for mine, right? And then you have the nerve when I move on to somebody else, you try to come from him and you don't know who his ancestors be. (laughs) You came for the right one. (laughs) You You came for the right one. Yo. You attacking here, you attacking there, you attacking here, and you don't got no clue. No clue. No clue. You ain't ready mentally. You ain't ready physically. You ain't ready emotionally. You ain't ready spiritually. You ain't ready financially. You just ain't ready. You feel me? You got no clue. And I made sure you will never get no clue. No one requested that. I volunteered that. Because everyone was ready like, what? I don't run from nobody. You feel me? I'm the one who's like, nah, our life is going to be private. Our life is nobody's business. You feel me? Ain't nobody running from your weak ass. Ain't nobody running from no down low. Ain't nobody running from no drug addict. Ain't nobody running from no drug deal. Ain't nobody running. You have no clue how God engineered this. It's not even our strength in the physical. It's a spiritual thing. You feel me? We're both in union because I come with protection and he comes with protection and we are protected. You understand me? You touch, you get burned. You understand me? When God puts two together, it's not because, oh, um, let's try it out. It's put it, it's cause um the puzzle fits. You understand me? It works. It's divine. It's mine. He's not a fraud that appeared to me like you. He's not a scammer. He's not illiterate. He's not drug dealer. He's not, he's not, he's not. He's not gutter. You understand? The reason why things had to go down the way they did is because that's how you felt about yourself. Right? And you manifested it in your life. When you think you nobody... When you think you illiterate, when you have to lie and ask me to do a, what you might call a resume for you, because everywhere you go to apply for a job, nope, nope, not even interview, nope, nope, 
not don't got no time. Nope. Nope. And I said, let me embellish a resume for you. OK, let's let's try to do that. Let's not just ask a, um interview, but let, let's ask an interview with a hard copy resume present. You who said you went to college, right? You could not give me the high school you went through. You could not remember the name of the I'm trying to keep a straight face, y'all. A name of a high school you went through. Who forgets the name of the high school they went to? Who forgets the name of the high school they have a high school diploma from? Who does that? Could it be somebody that has a fake diploma? <laughs> but you have the nerve to try to tell people I'm slow, I'm dumb. Um, what else? I have mental illness. Um, I will never be nobody. Um, I don't have no talent. Confirmation. I don't have no talent. I'm a loser. I come from um a low low class. I come I because from the truth I'm hearing, any class that you've ever crossed with came from me. Am I right? Because you ain't got no proof of class of a diploma, right? And you didn't go through no ethical class in your upbringing, right? They didn't teach you wrong from right from in your upbringing, right? They didn't teach you not to be a thief in your upbringing, right? They didn't teach you not to kill in your upbringing, right? They didn't tell you not to try to harm people with black magic, obia, santeria, and hoodoo in your upbringing, right? They didn't teach you to be a man. To be responsible for yourself. To provide for your family. To stand in your truth. You didn't go through that class either, right? In fact, you still sitting in front of me getting schooled, right? With your fake profiles. But you show up for class, right? Come on now. Sometimes we hurt ourselves. Sometimes when you don't stay in your lane, you get exposed. That you don't got what it takes. Right? The sad thing is your stupid, stuck on stupid um crew was just the blind <laughs> leading the blind. <laughs> no, do this. Don't be her friend. Um. Let me think. Let me scratch my head. Think of another first grade idea. Let, let me, let me, let me. I know I'm emotionally retarded, but let, let me try hard. Let me try hard. Um, it's sad. And then you want to roll with professional people. You want to roll with the intellect. You want to roll with people with, profe- with, with, with some type of professional reputation so you could bring their business down. So people could learn that they're in cahoots with you and bring their business down. So you can curse their businesses and bring them down. Right. You can bring your karma towards them and bring them down. Right. They can exchange money with you and then bring their business down. Right. Right? Am I right? Because today, like I said, is throat chakra healing. Deliverance for stuck on stupid. Open letter. Okay? That's what today is. Okay? As I vent. As I share my truth. 
as I now hold back, okay, I arrive at my healing, okay? Nothing is stuffed in, okay? I am free, okay? I checked you, okay? I clocked you, okay? That part. Now you know what time it is. Now you know who playing with you and who ain't. I keep telling you, I been knew you was weak. Anybody that feels broken and does not have the strength to do what it takes to put themselves back together again is weak. Especially when I offered it to you for free. I said I do support groups. I said I could even get you into counseling. I said, I said, I said, I did all I could say. I said all I could say. I did all I could do. I tried to help you. But everything reject after reject after reject after reject. Why? It surely ain't because you wasn't attracted to me. Because why are you sweating me? Why are you sweating me? Question. Why are you stalking me? Question. Why can't you forget me? Question. So it wasn't that, right? It just was, I couldn't be dirty enough. <laughs> You like the gutter kind, right? And I had the class kind. But the gutter kind would allow you to bring playmates in the bedroom, right? That's why you approach me. Confirmation. That's why you approach me about all women being bi and I had to check you and put you in your place, right? Don't play with me, right? Because you was trying to run game, right? You thought I was going to play with you, right? You thought I was going to go... And hang with your house of horrors, right? And I don't play that, right? You thought all women was like that, right? And then you met me. I'm not the one. You feel me? When you want a woman in that type of caliber, with that type of caliber or whatever, that's not even the appropriate word for her because she, she can't climb that ladder. But... With that type of mindset, you must go to her address. Okay? Gutter Avenue. Okay? That's what she is. That's what she ever will be. That is her avenue. Okay? Gutter Avenue. That's where you need to go pick up girls that's going to be like, oh, let's swing. Let's, 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 let's do that. Not, 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 not me. Not me. Not me. Never was, never will be. Okay. And that's why all these lames that you sent, trying to send people in my DMs, trying to send sick People in my DMs that I already knew what y'all was doing. I already know their names. I already know their pictures. I already know what I need to know. Mind you, I ain't available. You feel me? So all of that was stupid. What can you expect from stuck on stupid crew? Oh, we'll get her this way. We'll we'll send we'll send this person who's sick to her. So I mean y'all was that twisted, ain't it? Why should why should I only have all these boils on me that I can't even sit down, that I'm using alcohol, that I'm I'm being nice when I'm saying boils. Oh I saw them in visions. Disgusting. Chill. Yeah. Mm. Some type of karma. My God. Mm. Mm-mm. Even the doctor can't help you, right? Especially where it's located, right? 
But I did tell you that was going to happen, right? You did get that prophecy, right? And so now you're on a mission to look for people who are clean, right? Because you don't want to suffer alone, right? Let me love bomb her so I could be with her. So I could give a gift that doesn't stop giving, right? (laughs) Yo, you know who you messing with. Clearly you don't. I got eyes in front of me, eyes on the side of me, eyes on the back of me, eyes on the top of me, eyes even on the bottom of me, honey. Okay? We got eyes. Okay? I gave you a little pause stuck on stupid. I gave I gave y'all a little pause. So I know y'all y'all processing, y'all taking your time. Right? But the games you run ain't going to get you nowhere with me. Because I'm not on that wavelength. I I don't have that intellect. Um, I I have wisdom. Um, I have class. Um, I have self-respect. Um, I have a different upbringing. Um, I come from a different cloth. Um, I am loved by God. Um... Get it together. Resilience. Ongoing battle. Battle weary. Fatigue. Drained of energy. Nearly there. Close to success. Courage. Persistence. Perseverance. Backbone. Learning from past failure. Gather your strength. Fight the corner. Let's stand. Got a clue? I had to define it for you. Stuck on stupid crew. But that's what resilience means. Okay? So you learned two vocab today. The first one, you learn what competition is, right? One-on-one. I said one-on-one. Okay, cowards. Okay, um, the next one is resilience, okay? Because when it's not one-on-one, ain't no competition there. You already lost because you can't stand, right? But your downfall is my resilience, right? Like, I don't bow down, right? It ain't never going to happen, right? Just in your dreams, right? (laughs) Oh, Lord. Y'all thought you was going to write a story for me. And I had to check you. And let you know the only one that gets to write a story. The story of my life is me. I am the author of my life after God. You could dream if you want to. You could play what you want to and you can fall down when you do. Then you fall. It don't matter if you fall again. Do you have the resilience to get back up? That's the question. Do you have do you have the resilience to get back up from this? Okay. From your black magic backfire. From your hoodoo backfire. From your obia backfire. You you have the resilience? You have the do you have the resilience? Cause that's all you did to me. And I'm here ready, standing, willing. You feel me? Ain't no bowing down over here. You feel me? Ain't you, ain't no running around or running away over here. You feel me? I know who I stand with. Not just one in the afternoon, but one a.m., two a.m., three a.m. Tired of saying a.m. 
because they 24 7. You understand? Highly protected. Ready for backfire. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Next card intuition, illusion, dreams, vagueness, instability, deception, anxiety, fear, misconception, subconscious, insecurity. See, I follow my intuition. I see through the illusions. I get the dreams. I know you're unstable. I know you're full of deception. I know you got anxiety. I know you live in fear. I know you insecure. In fact, the world knows. It was written, right? It was written that one day you would be judged in front of the world, right? That's what's happening, right? Am I right or am I right? Okay. Prepare yourself. Next card. <laughs> prepare. Keep preparing. Catch up and prepare. Add on. Next card. Making investments. Things coming to fruition. Hard work paying off. Harvest. Rewards. Profits. Results. Manifestations. Of ideas and goals, inheritance, cultivation, growing, nurturing, perseverance. You see, the difference between me and Stuck on Stupid Crew is my intellect. I apply wisdom. And today and forevermore. God filters out all my investments. But someone who thought he was all that in a bag of chips because he was lying to himself. Um, didn't check on his investments. And invested in a house of whores. Okay. And so. His investments. Fell through. But me knowing that he was nothing but game, stop investing, right? Yeah, I did help you out for a minute with your phone. I did help you out with your food. I did help you out with, you know, money when your, your cousins were begging for money. Can you give me $500 every month? I looked at her and the way her lips said it, and I'm like stuck on retardation. Can you give me five hundred dollars every month? And I'm looking at her like me, pay for a grown man to live at his cousin house, five hundred dollars a month. Wait for it. Wait, wait for it. <laughs> she waiting, ain't it? She still waiting. Damn, she waiting. Right. Clearly, you was born in the stuck and stupid crew, right? Begging for five hundred dollars a month. For a grown man. Not ashamed to say that your cousin, right? I could never ask a woman, yo, a single mom, right? To give $500 a month to take care of the cousin, my cousin, that I'm taking care of in my house because he homeless on the street. No, Don't nobody want him. And I could never do that. Okay. But she thought she was going to profit off my head. Okay. And clearly no red penny was given. Right. And we stopped paying that phone. Right. We stop fitting the bill for groceries, right? 
we started telling you to figure it out, right? And you was hurt. Oh, I can't benefit on her. I can't profit off her. I can't use her. I can't take what's hers to give to the hoes no more. Oh, hoes got to eat. Can't she understand the hoes got to eat? Why can't she understand the hoes just want to eat? Well, given the fact that I'm not a pimp, never was a pimp, never will be a pimp, I could give a damn what um, who hoes eat, when they eat, how they eat. I give a damn if it's your baby, if it's their baby, it's the, if it's the threesome baby, if it's the stu- um, stuck on stupid crew baby. I don't know who the baby daddy is. I don't know. And I don't care. They need formula, then ask the threesome crew. They need diapers, then ask the threesome crew. They need a crib, then ask the threesome crew. But I didn't do no threesome with you. You feel me? Never did it. Never will do it. Never thought of it. All right. We come from a different cloth. I'm going to remind you. We we come from different cloths. You see? It was every day my father said, respect, 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 respect yourself. I know y'all didn't have that type of upbringing. Respect, respect, respect yourself. We wouldn't have this conversation if you had. Respect, respect, respect for yourselves. Right? My family didn't play that. You don't ask people for money. You don't ask people to feed you. You don't ask people for clothes. You don't ask. You don't ask. You don't ask. You do for you. You feel me? That's how I was raised. Let alone if I was a man. Are you serious? That I need a woman to pay for my food, to pay for my phone, to pay for my deodorant, to pay for my toothpaste, to pay for my socks, to pay for my slippers, to pay for everything. And you a man? Really? A man who had the nerve to go and say that you taking care of me? Really? And you thought God wasn't watching? Really? You thought God wasn't hearing? Really? You thought God wasn't seeing and knowing? Really? That's why you being whacked. Why, God? That's why you being whacked. You was never a man. And then you tried to put a woman down. And you was never a man. You still don't know how to be one. You never been one. Way looking, you ain't never going to be one. A man is not someone that just go out there and curse people out and raise their voice and threaten people and talk about guns and talk about shooting like you do, like you do, like you do, like you do. Oh, it takes more than what you do. It takes responsibility. It takes protection. Are you going to protect yours? Are you going to defend yours? Are you going to, you know, have a home to put yours in? You're going to provide for yours. You're going to feed yours. You're going to take care of yours. Oh, you can. You can. Because the stuck on stupid crew slash cause of horror needs to part time be your pimp and have you gigolo out to get money to bring for them. Right. Right. And then when they get you back because you start falling for whoever you doing the gigolo business with lying and saying, I'm going to help you. I'm going to pay you. I'm here for good. I'm going to support you. I'll never leave you. I'll never do this lying. And then they get intimidated and then they go and lie and say, oh, she's breaking up my family. Oh, I have such a wholesome family. Yeah, I know my baby daddies. No, it wasn't a threesome. No, it was his child. No, oh, I made a mistake. A mistake. A mistake. (laughs) Yo, she getting you cussed out because you were a thief because you were stealing for a child that was in your. Oh, my God. 
Ain't that something? Ain't that something how they left you behind? Ain't that something how they stole your money? <laughs> Ain't that something how they played you for a fool? Ain't that something how they scammed you too? Ain't that something how they was frauds? Ain't that something how they blackmailing you? Ain't that something how they doing injustice to you? Ain't that something how they videotaped you? Ain't that something? Mm, whack. That part. The scribe. Y'all was coming after me because you knew. I had the story to tell. You knew. That I will be telling the world. You scared. Because you know it just started. Right? You know the story's going to be international too, ain't it? You know there's no way from running. Confirmation. You know there's no way of running away from this one. Right? Okay. Restriction. Feeling trapped, <laughs> restricted, backed into a corner, hands tied, victimized, paralyzed by fear, terror, anxiety, feeling pressure, hopeless, helpless, powerless, silenced, silenced, crisis, dilemma, drama, imprisonment, punishment, slavery, all of these that you inflicted on me you thought I could be your slave work for you and your house of horrors right mind you you know I have a mission for God you knew my plans for God and you took them and you gave them to the house of horrors so they can scam people and claim they have gifts that they don't have and give them false readings Right. And play the communities. Right. And rec recruit the youth so they can have them sacrifice. They didn't care if they had diseases that kept on giving. They didn't care if they spread it to the youth. They didn't care. You didn't care. You didn't care. You didn't care. I'm just channeling the messages. You didn't care. Why you hurt the, the, the youth, Judas? Judas, I'm being asked to, to tell you. I'm being told to ask you. Why did you hurt the youth? Why are you on a mission to hurt the youth? You and your house. Of horrors. Recruiting those. From the environment. That haven't been awakened yet. To your demonic ways. God sees. God hears. God's in the know. And the whole world will know. What you sacrificed me for, right? You wanted fame. Now you're famous for being a fraud. You're famous for being a cheater. You're famous for being Judas reincarnated. You're famous for biting the hand that fed you. You're famous for being a rapist. You're famous for mind manipulation. You're famous for gay for pay. What else you famous for? Oh, something I don't even like to address because it's so disgusting. How you got people in the streets talking about you a pedophile? How you living with yourself? 
Damn. You can't get any lower than that. Tell me you never even smoked marijuana before. Now I'm learning you as a drug dealer. You smoke the deadliest kinds. Not no gateway drugs. I mean the the hard stuff, right? Right? Ain't that true? Because I know you're not using that powder to make you feel, to make you smell fresh. That's not what that's for, ain't it? Ain't it? What is for? What is it for? I just want to know. I have to admit. There will always be a part of me that believes you mentally unstable <laughs> you clearly are because when you come for me you know who I am you know I don't play I mean you know I don't play like this ain't new right you know I walk in my truth you know I'm not gonna hold it back you knew that that's why you were so terrified when they was blackmailing you and say, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell her, I'm going to tell her. And you shaking in your boots because you already knew. That's why you terrified now, ain't it? Because you know it don't stop here, right? You know it ain't going to stop till you go to jail, right? And not just jail for any case. We, we talk about for what you did to me, right? Including your stuck on and, and stupid crew, right? You know I ain't playing with you, right? You know you crossed the line with me, right? Have mercy on who? Play with who? Talk to who? About what? When? Where? Not likely. I'm also told to tell you that you didn't persecute me for one week, one month, a couple months, a year. You persecuted me For a total of five years, correct? So, you ain't going to get one day less. All right. Let me make that clear. The unveiling of you. The unmasking of you. The judging of you. The rejection of you. The disgust of you. Is not going to be one day short. Of that and plus. The more you continue. To do black magic on me. To lie on me. To manipulate me. To frame me, to do fake profiles on me, to do fake messages, to do fake, um, not just fake messages on social media, but messages like contacting people for business and yeah, all of that. The more you continue to do everything, first of all, I'm aware of everything, anything and I'm aware right when you do it. I'm not going to tell you how, but I'm aware. I'm aware, right? I'm aware with reason. 
right? There's a reason I'm aware. But you're just adding on your list. And the joke is, I was told, when you're going through your stuff, you think I'm sending magic to you. I'm trying to make your life horrible. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. Mind you, it's just a return to sender. Confirmation. It's just a return to sender. It's nothing in my energy. It's the energy you sent. That's blocked. So it has to go back to you. Right? And I know you heard that. Confirmation. Right? And so. As you continue to send. (laughs) I'm trying to be serious y'all. As you continue. But it's hard with Stuck on Stupid Crew. But as you continue to send this black magic. It's going to ba- bounce back off of me and mine. I said and mine because we are protected and mine and go back to you. Okay. And you add on the years, you add on the months, you add, you add, you add. And the fact that you sent it and I didn't accept it. And then you did a reversal. You did a reversal on yourself. <laughs> Yo, I heard that confirmation. You did a reversal on yourself, smart ones. You are supposed to be the teachers. Teaching what? Stuck on stupid crew? What you going to certify your students on? Stupid? That part. Or being stuck. Which one is it? Because clearly you stuck and clearly you stuck on stupid. All right. You're doing reversals on yourselves and you trying to say you ain't stuck on stupid. You're doing reversals on yourselves and your health is getting worse. Your finances getting worse. You being um, outcasted like you wanted for me. People are afraid of you because they don't want your karma. And and you ain't stuck on stupid. I'm lying again. I'm crazy, ain't it? Right? I'm the crazy one. It's not stuck on stupid, but I am. Really? Okay. All right now. Next one is industry. Everyone in this industry or line of work that is in the know knows who you are. And knows how you inherited your name. They know your bloodline. All right. They know your associations. They know that you, your sacrifice did not come to pass. And because it failed and you sold your soul, you got to go. They know that. Right? So as much as you want to say, I'm hurting you. I did this to you. I did. T-, they know that you're lying. They know the reason why your health is failing. They know the reason why you going is because you tried to sacrifice me. Remember that? You signed my name. Remember that? And you didn't succeed. Remember that? And it's a life for a life. Remember that? That part. So regardless of the framing, the defaming that you did, the framing that you did, the lying that you did, 
that you continue to do the truth will always be the truth that all your hardships today stems from the fact you was hired to be a hitman and you participated in sacrificing me clearly okay and this is for the whole world to hear all that you are enduring and all that the stuck on stupid crew is enduring is because that they participated in stealing attempting to do well killing because I'm not your first I'm not your first um target let's be real with that we got details on that right um yeah but attempting to kill me stealing from me attempting to attempting to kill me and attempt and attempting to destroy me right and you got three F's, right? And your time is up, right? I know you was paying to postpone judgment, to postpone court dates, to postpone, to postpone, to postpone. There's going to be a surprise about your postponing the <laughs> confirmation very soon. Okay. I said very soon. I just got the confirmation as I was saying it. So, so now you know. Okay, um, keep keep paying for it though. Keep keep doing that. Everybody got to eat, right? Foresight, ain't that something? That's the next card. Foresight, travel, moving, forward planning, self confidence, self belief, freedom, success. Happy with choices. Happy with outcome. Hard work paying off. Experiencing life. Foresight. Right? And the foresight I'm having. That judgment. That self-induced judgment. Is exactly what you're going to experience. Okay? Okay? The light of the world. I was called to live out loud. I was called to teach others how to heal because God gave me the ability to heal myself. Okay? Through my stories, through my truth, through my honesty, through my transparency, I empower others to see what the human spirit can overcome in the process of doing so I light up my corners plural of the world and so the fact that you interfered with that goal right mind you you met me doing that you met me assisting those by participating in helping careers by facilitating support groups being a counselor being a teacher even before podcasts even before social media even before it all I've just always been that Every career I've had has to do with the helping career. So you tried to be an obstacle. You tried to get in the way. You tried to interrupt from me fulfilling my soul's purpose, right? So you shall be judged, right? The next card is the chariot. No obstacles will stop me now, right? Victory, overcoming, overcoming obstacles, success, 
determination, willpower, control, self-discipline, hard work, focus. Guess what? The next card is the right one. The next card, people, is Archangel Michael. All right. I said Archangel Michael. Those who know, know. All right. I'm going to just leave it there. Those who know, know. (laughs) Those who know, know. Next card is throat chakra, authenticity, self in self expression. That's me not having to be fraudulent and steal people's work and steal people's business ideas. Right, horse with a limp? Isn't that the email I posted on Instagram when I denied going into any type of business with you? And it was right after that you started your smear campaigns. I'm a bad person. I'm not, I don't have the capability. I don't have the faculties. I don't have this. I don't have that. Because I rejected your offers. Right? Because when you asked me, horse with a limp, I said no. Right? So you lied to the community. Oh, she's this. She she cheats. She drugs. She does drugs. She does this. She do, she does that because you went and did divination work without my knowledge to look into my fortune, and you saw the success coming. So let me get a piece of that. Let me go into business with that. Let me be with friends with that. Mind you, I follow my intuition. I filter through with God, right? And I was told, nah, she ain't the one. She cannot go into business with you, right? And so I declined. Even I signed I respectfully decline on that email, still on Instagram, right? And so it was right after that, the date is on there, right after that, oh, she's a bad person. She doesn't take care of this. She doesn't do this. She doesn't do that. She doesn't do this. She deserves to die. Because I said no. Because I didn't want to be your friend. Because I'm not looking for new friends. Because I don't need to be under the sheets with you and your nasty crew. Okay? I don't roll like that. Okay? And you can't accept. No, you can't accept that I'm not trying to be in a polygamous lifestyle. You can't accept that I'm straight. I said I'm straight one more time for the slow Stuck on stupid group, stuck on stupid crew, and the slow. I'm straight. Um, the third one is um, you just can't accept the fact that even with your OBA, your black magic, your spell work, you you can't overpower me. You can't manipulate me. You can't make me bow down to you. Follow you, accept you, be scared of who? You're not that powerful, ain't it? You can't control me, ain't it? You have to take your seat now, ain't it? You falling from grace, ain't it? You ain't a part of this table now, ain't it? You watching my rise now, ain't it? You falling back now, ain't it? That was your fear, right? Oh, 
she's going to be greater than me. She's going to be bigger than me. She's going to get more attention than me. She's going to get more fame than me. She's going to be more successful than me. Yes, 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 yes. I'm tired of saying yes, 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 yes. I said yes, yes, yes. You want to hear it again? Yes, 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 yes. Jealousy. You will never be. Because it wasn't your destiny. You understand? Did I say it slow enough? It wasn't your destiny. Got it? Because I, na- I know you take notes on everything else. So, so you need to take notes on how to not just be fraudulent in your hypocrisy, but upgrade your intellect. Okay? Or your awareness or your wisdom or y- you need to upgrade. Before you can compete, okay? Next card is... And I could care less about... Oh, she thinks, she thinks, she thinks, she thinks... Because you you spent how many minutes? How many months? How many years... Doing smear campaigns on me, working for me to not have any confidence, working on me to make me bow my head, working on me, working on me. And now I stand up in my power, stand up in my confidence, stand like you ain't ready. Truth is, you ain't never been ready. That's why you was working collectively. Right. You can stand the fact that I had the power. That I was born with. You can't stand the fact. That I have. The connections. That I was born with. You can't stand the fact. That I have. The intelligence. That I was born with. I have the foresight. That I was born with. I have understanding that I was born with. I have everything needed to fulfill my soul's purpose. And so because of that, y'all could look into it if you want to. Because of that, you mad at God, right? How dare you, God? How dare you put her in that position? You must not be real. There must not be real God. Meanwhile, Sunday morning, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hey, sister. Mind you, those of you that's still on the hallelujah, thank you, Jesus crew, beware of who you shaking hands with. Beware of who you letting sit next to you. Beware of who you getting hugs from. Beware because they're Spreading not just physical diseases, they're spreading spiritual diseases. Confirmation. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Confirmation. They have their spiritual diseases that they are exposing you to. Don't let them touch you. You understand me? Don't let them be by your kids. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to keep you from tears. Okay? Confirmation. I'm trying to keep you from tears. Okay? Confirmation again. Keep your kids away. Okay? Love on your kids. Okay? Respect your kids. Okay? Protect your kids. Okay? Because they out on the hunt. 
They don't care who they have to sacrifice. They don't care if it's their grandkid, if there's if it's their kid, if it's their mama, if it, they don't care. And so in any vicinity that you are in with them, you are in danger. Especially those of you that are not rooted and protected in every capacity. Do you understand me? Protect yourself from these blood suckers. They suck so much blood that their blood is dirty and they're contagious. I just relay the the messages. They've sucked so much blood that they are contagious. They've drank so much blood in ceremony. Cats, pigs, dogs, cows, contagious. The spirit of those animals you sacrifice got you right. Hey! They haunting you, right? You're hearing their cries, right? Ain't that something? When are y'all gonna confess that you sacrificed the cat to bring harm to me, right? And had the nerve to bring it on my land, confirmation. Then you sacrifice a snake, right? Then you snack of sacrifice a turtle, right? And then you sacrifice a dog in your vicinity. You didn't bring the dog here. You just brought the snake here, the turtle here, the cat here. And God saw it. The angel saw it. My ancestors saw it. Right? That's why you got to feel it now. Right? That's why you got to feel what you gave out. All that magic got to come back to you. You went to the crossroads for me, right? You called on Loi. For me, right? Called on deities, Orishas, for me, right? You feeling their wrath now, right? You thought you could play them too, right? You got a wake up call, right? <laughs> oh, Lord. You went for the right ones, right? Clarity for the public, okay? Clarity that this is divine healing. The truth is where you find divine healing. The truth is where high vibrational energy resides. Next card is crown chakra upgrade. Divine connection. See, my connection, I didn't have to pay for it. You know what I'm saying? I didn't have to go to a, a spiritual practitioner. Oh, I need to have divinity. Um, I need to be able to see things. I need. I need to be psychic. I need. I need to have foresight. I need. I need. I need. See, some people are born with it. I keep saying that. Right. Holy experiences, miraculous energy. Oh, that's every second of the day. That miraculous energy. Oh, that's every second of the way. All right. Voice activation. That's right. Everything I wanted to hold inside. Everything I didn't want to talk about anymore. Everything I wanted to forget. Everything I said they can go to. Hell. I don't owe them any explanation. But God said no. You have to heal out loud. You are going to heal out loud. Others will heal through your stories that you say out loud. We are going to bring light out loud. Right? 
So only for God, I address the Stuck on Stupid crew because I usually don't go below myself. You understand? Angelic attunement, divine support, and so it is. Abundance and downloads, regeneration, success, heart chakra opening, unlocking, and generosity. I am in love with all those that come in love. And I push back for everyone that is whack, okay? The ancients, yes, the ancients give me wisdom. They give me guidance. They give me understanding. They give me direction. They give me instruction. They nurture me. They fortify me. They are always with me. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Don't play with it. That's what's coming to my mind right now. Inner healer. Okay, as I said, I've had the ability and the opportunity to heal myself from all of these hardships I had to endure. Oh, God, through Judas, the horse with the limp and all the monkey sees monkey do's and everyone that takes part of the House of Horrors crew. Men and female. I said men. Men and female. Men and female. Y'all know who y'all. Stop fronting. Stop fronting. People are talking. Come on now. Inner healer. Next one, sacrifice. Try to uh, sacrifice me. Nah, you sacrifice yourself. Wild winds. Yeah. People are talking. The wild winds. They going. They going farther and farther and farther. The whole world must know. Okay, as the light shines, everyone sees, everyone recognizes, right? I've accepted my gifts. God, if you're calling me to live out loud, if you're calling me to use my voice, if you're calling me to teach others how to love themselves, if you're calling me at any capacity, I am here for it. I'm here for it because I know you'll stand with me. I know you're always by me. I know you'll always be with me. I know you'll never be a Judas to me. I know you'll never be a Jezebel to me. I know you'll never assign me to reside in the house of whores. Okay? I'm better than that. Okay? The next card is awareness, contemplation, Solitude and time alone away from the stuck and stupid crew. Next one is reclaiming your authenticity. All right. Not allowing any of your magic to come through to be in my righteousness. Okay. What you contemplate can actualize. I contemplate to get my justice. I contemplate. To let the world know. I contemplate to not bow down. All right? What you contemplate can actualize. I contemplate to fulfill my soul's purpose. I contemplate to be on the rise and to stay on the rise. I contemplate to leave a legacy. I contemplate to be what I was called to be. That's what I contemplate. Okay? Experience, manipulation of nature, forcing change, cruelty, the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance. That's that's on the stuck in, on stupid crew. That's what they do. OK, they manipulate nature, play with, you know, dark arts and everything, trying to attack others. But God's in control. And with that, I'm protected. I will continue to get communication and I am letting go of all those that I don't want no more. Okay, be well. Peace.